Welcome to Classic Value Investors. My name is Marius Skoniecznie. Today we're talking Scorpio tankers. You might be surprised, but I think that Scorpio tankers appears to me like the most interesting out of all the tankers right now. And here's why. We have two groups of people. We have the tanker bears and the tanker bulls. And some of the tanker bears, I don't know, maybe they were always uh, bears for the past 10 years. Maybe some of them were bulls and now they sold and they're bears and they're letting everyone on Twitter know that they're bears. And then you have the tanker bulls, right? The, the, the bag holders, as, as we are. And obviously, because based on the stock price, it's pretty obvious that there are more bears than there are more bulls, right? Otherwise, the stock prices would be higher. Out of, out of the bulls, and I can't quantify the, the amount of them, many of them are hating or bearish Scorpio tankers, right? For many different reasons. And, and you saw, you saw individuals such as Copy uh, on Twitter, how he sold. He wasn't too happy with uh, how much Scorpio made and all these sorts of reasons. So you have, you, you have the bears that are just absolutely hating Scorpio tankers, right? And then some people express their opinion on Twitter, so that creates more bears. And uh, out of the very small number of bulls, everybody is hating Scorpio tankers, right? So they're, they're selling Scorpio tankers to buy Euronav or TK tankers or whatever. Now, I'm thinking to myself, okay, so we have very little number of bulls. And out of those bulls, we have even a tiny amount of, of bulls that are actually uh, bullish Scorpio tankers. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, who is left to sell? Okay, who's left to sell? Everybody that wanted to sell because all of, the, all of a sudden they're worried about the balance sheet, they're worried about dilution, they're worried about the rates being too low, they're worried about uh, option buying. They didn't worry about that when the rates were good. They didn't worry about the balance sheet, they didn't worry about the rates, they definitely didn't talk about too much about the option buying. And now they're, all, they're worried about all, the, all of these things. And, and I'm not necessarily disagreeing with these things, but all I'm saying is that it looks to me like whoever wanted to sell sold. And when it comes to the shorts, if you want to be short the crude tankers, you have many different options. You, you can short Euronav, Frontline, and, and other companies. If you want to short the product tankers, you don't really have very many choices. So Scorpio tankers is like the most obvious uh, candidate for shorting. So you have everyone that wanted to short is short. Everyone that wanted to sell sold and obviously all these bears um you know they don't even matter because if they're not short they don't matter um, and then on the other side you have the insider that's buying right call options that everyone is frowning upon that so i'm thinking you know do i really want to be following everyone that's so bearish scorpio tankers uh, probably not. From my point of view, it looks like I'm sitting, I am pretty comfortable holding my Scorpio tanker shares uh, just because of the dynamic that's going on. It looks like the selling of Scorpio tankers is a bit overcrowded. And remember what happened to uh, Tesla shorts when they all thought it was a great idea to short Tesla at the same time? It didn't turn out too well. So I think this time, when it comes to Scorpio tankers, I think I'm pretty comfortable uh, sitting on my ass and doing nothing. Thanks for watching.